gentlemen, the new car. The Cadillac CTS V wagon. I wasn't messing around, guys. This is the ultimate car right here. I'm gonna get out and show you exactly why it's the ultimate car. Big boy, what are you thinking so far? This is unreal. I've never seen you own one of these, and this is really, really clean. <laughs> This right here is a 2014 Cadillac CTS V wagon. This is as rare as it gets, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, they only made so many of these cars, and compared to the other cars out there, like, this thing is like seeing a unicorn when it's going down the road. You barely ever, ever see any of these on the road. The only time I've ever seen one of these was in California, down in Huntington Beach, where there's like all these crazy cars, so naturally, of course, you'd see a CTSV wagon there. I've never seen one else driving on the road, though. It's, it's that rare. It's crazy to me. Like I said, it's a 2014. This is the last model year that they made the CTSV wagon. After that, they were discontinued. So this car right here has 18,000 original miles on it. I hunted this thing down and as soon as I found it, I called up the dealership before they even had photos or anything. I had no idea what color it was and once they told me it was black, I was sold right there and then. I put the deposit and drove the GTR up there. Let's go over this thing. Let's start out with the body. It is a legit wagon. How crazy is that? You can do groceries, you can do bikes, you can, you can do whatever you want, want with a wagon, thing. anything. Invite all your boys, invite all this stuff. Let's go in the back, I'll show you guys. Now I get the hint you gave. Now it makes sense. The cubic square feet. Yeah, 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 now now like you would never thought something has more power than a GTR. And uh, also has. No, let me just press what? the automatic lift gate. It is a Cadillac. You know when it comes down to it. GTR don't got that. The GTR does not have that. All right. So back here is a bunch of the stock stuff that came with it. I'll tell you guys everything that uh when we go over the car, but here's all the stock stuff. I still haven't taken it out yet because I'm just getting back from the dealership on it. I had to go drive up to Connecticut to go get this car, and it was like a four hour drive, so it took a while. But listen, all these seats fold down, and you can put whatever we want back here. This is as convenient as it gets for a daily car. It's a BMX car right here. It really is. I love the way it looks, the wagon. It's got awesome brake lights that travel all the way up the side of the car. They did such a good job designing it um, because it looks sharp. Even though, you know, it is a Cadillac wagon, you could see like the CTS-4s, you know, and stuff like that uh, driving around this wagon. I actually saw a CTS wagon last night, which I rarely see. I saw one last night when I was coming home. It's pretty insane that they were able to take this thing and make it as aggressive looking in a V-series. So uh, we'll go around the rest of the car. This thing is absolutely perfect. There is not one mark on this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. Whoever kept this thing, you know, kept this thing as their baby. This thing must have sat in their garage and never came out. Uh, it's a little dirty right now because I drove it home and of course it downpoured on the way home. This color is the Black Raven color. It comes in two different blacks. There's a Black Diamond Tricoat and then there's a Black Raven. I mean, I, I prefer the Black Diamond Tricoat, but it's really rare to find. I had a Black Diamond Tricoat and I also had a Black Raven, but they were six-speed manuals and this time I had to go automatic, but we'll talk about that in a second. So as you can see, the wheels, they are 19-inch um, CTSV wheels that come on it. They're really awesome. I love the design of these factory wheels. I think they're amazing. The chrome's cool, but I prefer the black that they come with, the uh, like satin graphite that it comes on. I like those wheels better. So I'm gonna actually try to find a set of those wheels and get them eventually, but uh, for right now, these chromies will do. And as you can see, they also come with the yellow calipers on it. And that was a big plus for me. They started doing the red calipers on it. So I was expecting to see the red ones. But when I saw the yellows straight away, I fell in love with it. That's my favorite combination is the black with the yellow calipers on this car. That's a clean, clean front end. It is. Super Aggressive. clean. It is. So the CTS-V comes with the chrome in the front. I like blacking it out. I'm going to black out pretty much everything that is chrome on this car. But um, it's still a really awesome looking car. It looks so aggressive. I love the way the hood, you know, it's, see it sticks up in the center here. It looks great. And exactly it complements the front end. Well, it's for both. You know, they, they got the, fit, they there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a big engine in there. Real big engine in there. But it sure does look cool as well. Um, in the front, there is actually, it came with this. It's is pretty cool. Somebody made a custom tow hook front license plate cover so you don't have to screw it into the bumper at all. That's going to be quite useful because here in New Jersey you have to have a front license plate or you get pulled over. And they don't mess around. They pull you over constantly for it. So next thing we will go in the interior. Dude, look at this thing. Let's just, let's just do a quick walk around real quick so you guys can see it. Look how aggressive this thing looks. I just want to let them get a full view of the body real quick. Yeah, they don't understand ahead. it. Look at that. All right, so the interior of this car, it's classic. It's really clean. It's Cadillac. It, the seats are air conditioned and heated. Oh, yeah, we're... It's a uh, seatbelt. Is it? Yeah, for some reason, we didn't start yet. 
Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. putting on her stuff. Yeah, yeah, I don't know why it's beeping already. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Well, See, you know, it's, it's very safe. safe. This is a very safe car as well. It's got a pretty amazing like sunroof setup on this car. But well, you see how it opens up all the way? Like that's that's kind of cool, man. It came with the black Recaro seats, as you guys could see right there. It's got the awesome V logo in there. Now, what's cool about these seats? They are air conditioned and heated. Yeah, it's, air it's conditioned for, and heated seats right there. It's good for many different things. You get big boy in here quickly after a session. You know you what I mean? Best you, be putting that AC you on. Cool that down. Car you know, I'm just gonna hook you up. You, you let me know how it feels, man. Yo, that is insane. Like that's I cool, legit huh? feel it right now. Yeah. That is insane. What, do they put a little fan in here or what? Yeah, of course, there's something in there. We'll leave that on for Big Boy. Dude, Big Boy needs an off for being. Like I said, it's automatic. My favorite car I've ever owned was my six-speed manual CTSV wagon. Absolutely my favorite. It was the most fun you could possibly ever have. There's just constant torque with this thing. It has a huge engine. We will go over that in a little bit, but driving six-speed manual in a Cadillac was the coolest thing in the world. I miss it. If I was able to drive manual, I would have went and hunted down a manual, but I just can't do it the way my body works right now. I don't have enough coordination, and I do not have enough control to be able to drive manual. So automatic it is. So I had to go and try to find something cool that was automatic, and this was my first thought straight away. Um, let's check this out. This is pretty cool. It's like a regular looking setup, but you press the button, and it raises up right there. So that's cool. You know, it doesn't really do too much fancy stuff. It just does radio kind of stuff, and it's got navigation as well. No YouTube on that bad boy? Uh, no, no YouTube on it. So whatever, this is like just, you know, kind of normal stuff nowadays, but I mean, I think it's, I think it's kind of cool. If you don't want to look at the screen, you just press the button and it goes down. So let's say if you put it in reverse. Then what? it comes up as like the backup camera, so that's kind of cool. Now this is something, you know, you probably thought you would never ever see on a Cadillac. Right there at the bottom there, that is a boost gauge for the supercharger. Yes, it is supercharged. This thing is a beast. We will go see the engine in a second, but here is the gauge cluster. It's weird seeing the park reverse neutral drive on there, but it does have a manual mode that's like works kind of cool too. It's got not only heat and air conditioned seats, but it's got dual climate on there. And uh, it's nice, it's got that built in like uh, clock that comes on there. Analog bad boy, Cadillac It's like style. super, it's like, I noticed like the way you sit in here, it's like, it's very split like between the driver and the passenger, like I feel like I'm in my own unit and you look like you're in your own yeah. unit, but it's very like. It's not like the, the GTR yeah. makes you feel like you, if you're in your passenger, you feel like you don't belong. Yeah, I just this feel thing, like I'm like, okay, you know, you're it's kind of So this is really strange on here, as you can see, there is a forward and reverse. That is for XM radio. So if you were listening to XM radio and you like a song that's on, you can actually rewind it and listen to it again. I, sense. I I don't know how it's possible. I, I can't imagine. Like, I was it constantly record? I do not know. So you're but, telling me Miley Cyrus comes on real quick, and I want to hear that one last little note that I can really get my white girl onto. Yep, you I can rewind right back to the white girl. And then you can go rewind and do it again, over and over again. Oh, Weird, right. but it's kind of cool. So let's go look at the uh, engine. I'm going to explain to you guys the engine that it has, and then I'm going to show you guys a couple of the goodies that actually came on the car. So. So look at this, just like we were talking about the GTR. No need for a hood holder on this one. It comes built in on this one. But this is this is the heart of the V right here. This is the LSA. It's a supercharged 6.2 liter V8. Do I have to say that again? 6.2 liters. How big's your truck, big boy? 5.7. Seven. 5.7 seven in that big old truck. Yeah, yeah. 6.2 liter supercharged. And now it's factory everything except for two things. It has an air raid intake right here. It's a nice intake system, really nice. Um, Is that real carbon or what? No, it's definitely fake carbon. But if you look really quick, it looks like real carbon, and we'll just go, we'll just run with that. Um, but what's cool about this, I noticed it has uh, usually there's fog lights in the front right here. You can come check it out. Usually there's fog lights right here, but the fog lights are taken out, and it's actually uh, feet. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's insane. Yeah, really awesome actually. Um, and then also there is a Corsa exhaust on the car, but I do not know how much of the exhaust is actually on there. I, car wasn't on the lift when I was there, and I don't have the ability to lay down and look underneath of it. So we're gonna have Big Boy look underneath it and see if it looks like a cat back or a muffler right now. But it is a Corsa exhaust, which is a really nice exhaust. So let's go check it out. All right, Big Boy, do the honors. Let's see if you can see anything down there. Oh, 100% a cat back. Cat back? 100%. All right, guys. So the cat is out of the bag. The GTR is gone, but the CTSV wagon is here. And this is the ultimate car for me right now. I love this car. I always have. I've been such a huge fan of them. I've owned them before when they were six speed. Never thought I'd own an automatic one, but I also never thought that I would have the crash that I did that changed my life like it did. And I'm just so blessed I'm able to 
be able to drive this thing and be able to enjoy this car. And this is the perfect car for me right now, currently where my life is. Able to have a fast car, able to have a really cool rare car that I love the way it looks, and I'm just so happy to be where I am currently. But this thing is going to be the new fun project car that I'm going to be having on the channel. I'm not going to go too crazy on it. I want to make a really cool daily driven car. So I hope you guys are just as excited about this as I am because I love this thing. And I'm excited to show you guys why this car is the ultimate car. And um, so the next thing we're going to do, we're going to be heading out of here. And the only way to do that is to leave in CTSV fashion. So I'm going to be getting in the car right now, big boy. Dude. Just hold the camera, man. I have I no idea what this thing's got, to be honest. Never seen one in person before, never yeah. driven in it, nothing ever. So this is like first. Big boy has never been in a V8 before, and he's never been in a supercharged V8. We are actually going to be bringing big boy out, and he's going to be test driving this car. Not in this video, in the next video, because we have a couple stuff that we have to do today. We're going to get big boy's reaction of what a V8 feels like. It's going to change you, big boy. You it insurance? changed me, man. The torque is instant. It comes straight away. And I'm going to show you guys what Torque does right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Until next time, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching. Peace. See you, big boys. Stop. Oh, my God.